Mr. Jerry Pui Chao Min. I'm a science teacher for year one. I'm going to teach you year one science for this year. Maybe this is the first time we met here. So great to see you here. Are you ready for the learning today? Let's go. So today, okay, we are going to learn about the new topic, which is Unit 3, Living Things and Night Living Things. Before that, you can open your textbook, page number 18 or 19. All right, so for this topic, okay, my first question for you is, do you know what is living things? And do you know what is, is non-living things? Let's explore together with teacher point. All right, for this year, all right, the first topic for this year. All right, take a look on the picture below here. All right, page 18 for your textbook, all right. Inside here, we can see that, okay, there is a bird, tree, lotus, duck, frog, rock, heart, and flowers. Am I right? Take a look at the picture first. This is the first picture. Then we go to the second picture in page 19. We can see an arrow plant here, toy here. A car here, humans here, cat here, west bin here, and a bench here. Alright, take a look at this picture first. Okay, can you tell me which are living things and which are non living things? So, first of all, maybe I can translate living things. Get some hints for you first. A living thing in Bahasa Melayu is benda hidup. And non-living things in Bahasa Melayu is benda tidak hidup. For you, alright? Try it out. Which one is living things? And which one is non-living things? Hmm. Is it a bird a living things? Is it a heart a living things? Let's find out, alright? So we find out together, okay? So from the two pictures just now, we can identify that there are many living things and many non-living things inside the picture in page 18 and 19, am I right? So first of all, living things, as I tell you before, is a benda hidup. Non-living things, the red one here, is benda tidak hidup. So from those two pictures, teacher can conclude that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 living things and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 non-living things. Okay, first of all, the living things that we can hear, heard, uh, you can see the first one is bird. The second one is tree. The third one is lotus. Fourth, duck. Fifth, frog. Six flowers, seven humans, and the last one, cat. Bird, B I R D, bird. Tree, T R E E, tree. Lotus, L O T U S, lotus. Duck, D U C K, duck. Frog, F R O G, frog. Flowers. F L O W E R S flowers, humans, H U N N S humans, okay, cat, C A T cat. How about non-living things? We have heart, rock, toy, car, west bin, bench, and Aeroplane. You may ask teacher, teacher, how do we know that one is a living things? And how do we know that one is not living things? I don't know. Okay, I have some tips for you. Okay, so after this slide, I'm going to show you how do teacher identify all the living things and non living things here. Alright, maybe some of you know about already the living things is something can breathe, work, move, and so on. So let's learn together. Okay, so we move to the next page. Right, I'm going to introduce to you 
the characteristic of the living things. Okay, characteristic of the living thing. In bahasa Melayu, characteristic means ciri-ciri. Okay, ciri-ciri physical ataupun ciri-ciri benda hidup. Okay, first of all, need water, need water and food. Oh, need foods and water. Okay. All of the living things need food and water. As you, okay, as you, as me, we need foods and water. Am I right? All right? So, food, okay? Food is, bahasa Melayu in, is makanan. Okay, water in bahasa Melayu is air. All right? All of the living things should have this first characteristic. Need food and water. Water. All right, let's go. Second one, the second characteristic of the living things is we can breathe. Follow as teacher. Breathe. Okay, all of the humans, animals, plants, plants. Are you sure? Okay, plants can breathe. Am I right? Include the birds, cats, yeah. Include human. All of us can breathe. Okay, semua kita boleh bernafas. Okay, ciri-ciri benda hidup yang kedua. Okay, repeat the first one is we need waters and foods. The second one is we breathe. B R E A T H E. Breathe. Bernafas. All right. Next. Grow. The third one is grow. Grow in bahasa Melayu is bertumbuh. Okay, based on these two pictures you can see here, the first one is a grow for plants, and the second one is for uh, human or animals. Okay, below here is the animals. All right. So as we can see on the left hand side, the picture there. Okay, there is a seeds. Okay, germinate from the seeds, it becomes small plants and grow bigger and bigger. Okay, for those on the right hand side, it's the same. It's a human from a baby. We grow older like you as a child. Okay, we go into teenagers and so on. Adult. Okay, become mommy and then we come a whole people already. Okay, there's a flow. Okay, we get grow bigger and bigger. Am I right? Taller and taller. Am I right? Okay. For example, like a chicken. Okay, from an egg grow into a chicks. Then we go to a chicken. All right. This is the process of growing. Membesar Okay Grow Membesar Okay, repeat the first one is We need foods and water Second one is We need to breathe Third one is We need to grow Right? Can grow Okay, something can grow bigger and bigger Taller and taller Right? Next The fourth Characteristic is We move We move we can move here, then move there. Okay, we can run here, run there. Okay, for example, like a tiger can jump over here and there. Am I right? Like a teacher can okay, walk to school, come back from school. We run, we jogging. All right, play a skateboard. Okay, play a bicycle. All right, all that is move. Okay, in Bahasa Melayu, move is bergerak. Okay, bergerak. We move. We move here and there. Move freely. Okay, without control by any others. Okay, we want to move, we move. We want to run, we run. All right? All right. So I repeat the first one is need foods and water. The second one is is breathe. The third one is we grow. The fourth one is we move. All right? Next. Last one. See the last one. Number five. Reproduce. Okay, what is the meaning of reproduce? Take a look at the picture first. There's a penguin and a human. Penguin, for example, there's animals, right? We have a daily animals, there's a monkey animals, the father and mother, and a son, the smaller one. And the same for the human. We have mommy, we have daddy, we have sister, brother, and we have a small baby, am I right? Okay, so which means humans reproduce. Reproduce, which means have a baby again and again, okay? And animals too, okay? They are growing, okay? Have a baby animals, okay? Growing and growing, reproduce and reproduce. Same as to the animals and the humans. We reproduce and reproduce. Alright, in the jungle, there are many trees. Reproduce and reproduce.
it, there are five characteristics for us to identify the living things in this world. The first one is, can I repeat? The first one is, need food and water. Second one is, we breathe. Third one is, we grow. Grow. Third one is, we move. And the last one is, we produce.